today we're going to talk about how to spend the best pour day in Cozumel, Mexico. Now if you're up to my daughter, it would start with donuts like it usually does. But Cozumel is well renowned for water. Best snorkeling, some of the best diving you can do in the Caribbean. And it is one of the busiest ports in the Caribbean. So Cozumel, I've been here a ton of times. I've done a variety of things. You can check out my other videos. But what I like to do is I like to charter a snorkel charter for the day. It's actually more cost effective than you'd think. I'll put my favorite down here, Cozumel Sea Charters. A boat to yourself, less people for maybe just a few dollars more depending on the size of your group. Like you'll see, the snorkeling is beautiful. So many fish, great with kids. Um, I like to spend the first half of my day doing some snorkeling, so get off early. That's when the clarity in the water is best. And there's so many different spots, like in the other videos on my channel. There are starfish, you're gonna see rays, you're gonna see fish, you can go to El Cielo, or you can go up to Passion Isle. But this is a great way to spend the first half of your day. And one of the great things about Cozumel is the variety of snorkeling. You can snorkel deep like you saw here previously, or at El Cielo, it's shallow. You can stand there and there are stingrays everywhere. It is so cool. They're not gonna hurt you if you've never been. But doing a snorkeling experience or a diving experience in Cosmo for the first half of the day with a trusted vendor is something that I can recommend. And when I say trusted, I say somebody that has your safety first. I've seen some of these smaller boats out there that are just crammed with people. And that's not the safest experience for everybody, but highly recommend doing this. So the great part about working with Cosmel Sea Charters is they helped us with that taxi that you saw here in the beginning. So after we did all this awesome experience with the um, stingrays here at El Cielo, we headed back to go to the Centro to have some food. Now, one thing I will throw in before we switch over to the Centro here is make sure if you have a tendency to get a little seasick, you bring some of that medication if you're gonna go out on a boat because some of the snorkeling and diving is in deeper water and it can be a little bit choppy. So that's a little no. And um, of course they always have snacks and stuff on board, which is something Olivia enjoyed um they have beers cocktails so highly recommend that so yeah so after we snorkeled we headed back to the centro and the taxi was set up to take us to the snorkeling pick us up from snorkeling by the way these cookies are another big tip take us to the centro and then back to the ship it was really great so some of my recommendations to eat at here in the centro area are wet wendy's where you can get these delicious dessert beverages that is a chocolate peanut butter tequila the tostadas are really great i also love dick's dive i love their margarita on the rocks their house one with their house mezcal it's really good and then i also love getting empanadas from woody's this area has a lot of great shopping there's pharmacies there's souvenirs the food's really great and it's all in the same area um, if you want to rent a car, which you saw in my other video, Solimar is my favorite and they have their location right here by the Centro. So after that, we headed back to the ship this day. Now, what I will say is do not drag your feet getting back to the ship because with it being a big port, it can be a huge line in security to get back through as you see here. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.